The Seattle International Film Festival returns in person for its 49th year of festivities on May 11th through the 21st. Yeah, the festival showcases films from more than 70 countries on big screens throughout the city of Seattle. And here to share more about the event, we've got SIF Artistic Director Beth Barrett and one of the local filmmakers, Sudesh Nasen. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. Thanks Pleasure for having me. This is awesome. So SIF really takes people on a cinematic adventure. I mean, y'all are showcasing facing all different types of films. Tell us all about the event and how many films are involved this year. Yeah, this year we have 264 films from 74 different countries and regions. We have a lot of first and second time filmmakers and 73% of our feature films don't have U.S. distribution yet. So this may be really the only way that you can see them on the big screen. That's awesome. So there's, are there going to be people there looking to distribute the films too? It's a good place for people to kind of get there. Absolutely. So we have people, especially on our juries, who are coming in to look at the way our audience reacts because we are known across the world for our audiences. They're smart, they're thoughtful, they're engaged. And so for a distributor, if a film plays well in Seattle, it's likely going to play well everywhere else. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So I have been to a few film festivals, and the right. one thing that always sort of gets me all worked up is that there's so many amazing films, mm -hmm. and that stresses me out because I don't know what I want to watch. But you guys have programs that sort of help people who are coming Absolutely. decide what they want to watch. Tell me about that. Absolutely. So we put films in lots of different programs. You may feel like seeing a documentary, one of our 45, or a film about the Indigo Girls and our Face the Music <laughs> program, or you know a cinematic journey across Mongolia in our Asian Crossroads program. So there's lots of different ways, and on our website, you can use a couple of different film finders. We do it by mood. Do you feel like seeing a thriller or a love story? You can do it by country. You can do it by genre. You can do it by region. You can, you can sort through our, our films. You can say, I want to see a film at the Egyptian on Sunday. What's going on there? Yeah. So there's a lot of ways to kind of hone in on when you're available and what you feel like. Nice. That's so cool. And then we have one of our filmmakers here, Sudeshna. So I'm excited to chat with you. So you're the director and producer. Get this, the very first feature-length South Asian film to premiere at this festival. Huge congrats on that. Thank you. Tell us about your story and what people can expect from your film. It's the first locally produced feature-length South Asian film wow. at CIF. Mm -hmm. um, so just wanted to make the local there. Sure, sure. And um, it, the film is called Anu. It's the story of a 12-year-old and her grandfather. So Anu is the name of the girl, and Bapu is her grandfather, and they're very close. And um, the film starts with her witnessing the death of her grandfather, Aww. which is obviously very painful, and mm -hmm. her world falls apart. But then she starts having visions of him, which convinces her that he's not really dead. And so the rest of the film, she is on this journey to bring him back to life. And, and she's a 12-year-old, so obviously she has 12-year-old solutions, and she gets up to all kinds of shenanigans. And, and you know, at the end of the story, the, the point of it is that she discovers that the magic that she's looking for in the outside world, the power that she is seeking to bring him back in the outside world, she actually has it in herself, that Aww. the power, her power is in herself. And this realization, the self-realization, gives her a lot of hope, and that's what makes her smile, and that's where we leave the audience. I so love it's, that. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a story of hope. It's a story of renewal, and um, yeah, it's that's that's where that's how it the whole thing came together. So I found the book. The book is written. It's called Looking for Bapu, and it's written by Anjali Banerjee, who's a local author. And um, I read it. I adapted it, and it's just been a fantastic collaboration. It's also um, the cast and crew are all local. And um, I had a great time, you know, finding all these people. And uh, thanks to the newly formed Seattle Film Commission, mm -hmm. I hope there will be more and more people who will find local cast and crew because Seattle is a fantastic film community. And I've, you know, making a movie here has been just such a wonderful experience as a first-time feature filmmaker that um, I can't wait to do it again. And I hope more and more people will make films Beautiful. here. Beautiful. Yeah. Share with us how long it took to make the film and any fun behind-the-scenes stories you might have. Yeah, it took about five years oh, to wow. write. I wrote the script in 2018. Yeah. And, you know, it would have been done a year sooner, but there was a pandemic in the middle. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Fair so that <laughs> <laughs> delayed things a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it took five years, and um, I have lots of behind-the-scenes stories. I mean, <laughs> so my favorite story that I call, you know, this is so Seattle story. We were, there's a scene at the very beginning of the film where um, Bel Bapu is, you know, he falls and, and he's, the ambulance comes to pick him up. And so we're filming in Lincoln Park in West Seattle. Mm -hmm. And um, in, as, in, as in 
any every film, there are multiple takes. So the ambulance sort of drives into Lincoln Park and the camera's right there and it stops and then it drives off and it goes out and comes back again. But the traffic is all ongoing and so people just saw the ambulance with its lights flaring and they started pulling over because they thought oh, there was an emergency. Yeah, and so yes. we had to send someone out to tell them, keep going, it's only a movie. Oh you my know? God. It's just oh. At least they were trying to do the right so thing. Right? They were, they they were trying to help. This exactly, right? This is so Seattle. I so that's it. a fun story. There's another one that I is personal favorite. Is um, There's a scene in the film which is um, uh, the, one of the kid actors, who's one of our lead actors, the, actors, the character's name is Angor and the actor is Hudson Bruner. Um, he has to reach in a, into a big bowl of chocolate chip cookies and, mm -hmm. and grab them. And uh, we did so many multiple takes of that <laughs> because there was no acting involved. Ah. <laughs> He's, I think, 11 now. He was nine at the time. Oh, oh there was no acting in that in that scene. <laughs> just like all over. That's that awesome. Fun. And then, how do you select which films are featured each year? Well, I have a great team of programmers, more than 20 of them, that yeah. really focus in on different sections and different genres. And then we sort down. We we considered just over, well, just under 6,000 films. Wow. To get to 264. My goodness. So it's a lot of negotiating, a lot of uh, some great conversations. Conversations, you know, some tears. I'm gonna say probably some sure. tears. Yeah, of course. Favorite films don't quite make it. Yeah. But, but we're really looking to have a really broad representation of what film looks like right now. I really love that you shared that with us because it really showcases the passion behind something like this. So you are celebrating a big opening night. We are. Talk to me about that and how people can get tickets. Well, tickets are available on our website, sif.net, and we are opening tomorrow night, Thursday, May 11th, at the Paramount Theater with Celine Song's debut feature film, Past Lives. And it's a beautiful <laughs> film. I like, cannot wait for everyone to see it. But after the film, there'll be a party. We're closing down 9th Avenue. We've got food trucks. We've got DJs. It's going to be an incredible celebration of film. That sounds like so much fun. Beth yes. and Sudeshna, thank you so much for coming in and telling thank us all you. about it. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. So cool. Great. Wonderful. Yeah, so we'll put up a link with more info on the Seattle International Film Festival up on our website, fox13seattle.com slash Studio 13 Live. And still to come on Studio 13 Live, we are chatting with pastry chef Natasha